from me and Tom. Today we are currently in Brighton but we are actually heading to London for the day to have a day of sunbathing, going in a couple of shops, having a really nice dinner. Just chilling. Chilling out. It's going to be 30 degrees in London so we've decided to have a date day. Tom is off work, it is a Monday. How are you feeling? I'm excited. I'm, I'm gonna excited. Get a tan, hopefully, finally. That's the plan yesterday. If you watched Tuesday's video you may have seen that I have got really bad sunburn so today's aim is to kind of like not get sunburn and also correct the sunburn and like tan the rest of me. So I'm quite excited. We're gonna be chilling out in the sun. We're gonna go to Hyde Park. We've got a really nice reservation booked at a restaurant. So I thought I'd bring you along. I'll show you what we get up to as a couple on a very hot day in London. And it's already sweaty. And it's already sweaty. I don't even know what I'm gonna call this video yet, but. A sweaty day in London. A sweaty day in London. We're going to London and I thought I'd bring you along as like a separate video because it's not every day that we have a random Monday off to just chill in Hyde Park. So let's go. This is the outfit I have on. I actually bought this dress here in Brighton. It's from Bershka. It's just like a really, really loose sundress. I thought it was a good idea. It's actually backless. It means you can see my awful sunburn. Look at that. Oh, it's actually ridiculous. I can't believe I've tied my hair up as well, but I also thought it's just too hot to have my hair down. Look at Tom looking at me like your shoulder is a disgrace. It's embarrassing. He's embarrassed to be with me. Worst part was, guys, I did have sun cream on. But anyway, yeah, this is the dress. Cheeky little £20 Bershka number. And we are going to head to London. We're getting the train. Let's go. Guys, because I bought some clothes in Bershka, maybe a few too many clothes in Bershka, this is the only suitcase I've got with me, and it's so heavy, and it's literally tipping up every time I let go of it, so that is really good. I'm also braving these, like, wedge sandals, platform sandals. Am I going to have blisters by the end of the day? Place your bet. And then after the most lovely weekend, we got the train from Brighton back to London. It's actually not too far at all. It's about an hour. So I just read my book, looked out the window. I'm not going to lie, by comparison to last week, guys, no train feels like a long train. So it was fine. It was quite enjoyable. We have made it to London. underground is so quiet guys i've literally barely seen it tom and i were the only ones to get off our hyde park corner like nobody else got off the whole tube just me and tom we move we vibe i love this city <laughs> We headed pretty much straight from the underground to Hyde Park, but we did make a little stop off to get some snacks and to pick up some drinks to sunbathe with. Something weird is occurring in Hyde Park. I'd forgotten London could be a little bit like this. I don't really know what's going on. Tom and I just want to walk straight down to go somewhere to sunbathe, but got myself a little smoothie. Tom got himself an iced coffee. We need to cross over the road. I always think maybe it's the Queen. Like, I, d I don't think it, I don't think it is the Queen on a horse, yeah. We have made it to Hyde Park. As I said, we just both got ice drinks. Tom got iced coffee. I got iced, no, not iced, a smoothie. And our plan is we actually have a table booked at the Ivy in Kensington, which is so jokes because if you watched the video last night, not last night for you guys, if you watched the video on Tuesday, you'll see that we went to the Ivy in Brighton last night, which was a total surprise. I did not know that Tom had booked yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I, I fully was already aware of the Ivy today, so that is my bad for booking it. But last before. night we only went for drinks. We just sat on like their outdoor yeah, terrace. Yeah, no, if we, I wouldn't have booked for food because yeah. it would have just been a waste of today. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, no, it, it was just more for the bar side of it, and they do really good drinks. They there. do do really good drinks. But they were going for lunch at the one in Kensington, so we've come to Hyde Park to kind of like sunbathe for a little bit beforehand. But we're just walking kind of like halfway through the park so that we're at the right side. But when we have our dinner reservation, but it is beautiful. London looks spectacular yeah, today. Like. Out. Everybody is sunbathing. It's really, really quiet. I think the city is still a lot less busy than it usually is because of like COVID, I guess. But also because there's no like international travel, no international tourists and stuff. London would be thriving off that right now. Should we get a Boris bike? No, we're not getting a Boris bike. What is it with people wanting to hire a Boris bike? You can't really ride a bike very well. You can't ride a bike. I can ride a bike, but not very well. And you also, don't forget to ride a bike. I've got this massive bag. Oh, Harry yeah. asked me this when, I, when we were in London last week. We're heading to sunbathe. Tom's enjoying his coffee. What, what flavour did you get? The caramel iced caramel, very nice. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the sunshine. We have to sunbathe right near the lake and the pedalos, and we've got like 35 minutes, 40 minutes before we need to kind of set off and do a slow walk towards the ivy. But we've just sun creamed up, finishing off my little my little thing. I'm a wee bit sweaty. Oh my actual god! Oh my god! I'm I'm, I'm damp. 
I'm damp. Good. Is that too much information? I just didn't need to say that, did I? Anyway, we're going to the Ivy. Hyde Park is actually a lot bigger than I really realised, and it took us quite a while to do the walk all the way from one end to the other. Look, a little family of geese with a baby goose. Oh, we're doing a little bit of sightseeing on this walk to uh, the Ivy. I was gonna say, I'll insert a photo of Tom and I on a school trip before we were together, like over, what, coming up five years ago actually. But we weren't together at the time, but I won't insert the photo because it's got tons of other people that we went to school with. But we sat on these steps on a school trip back in 2016. Now here we are. We have arrived at the Ivy Kensington Brasserie. We're on the roof garden terrace. So it is actually like outside, but we are under these canopies. Tom and I are sharing a cheeky bottle of wine. I would name the wine that we've got, but I can't pronounce it, so I won't. No, it was like Vieux, Vieux de la... It was, it's French. Le year. Le year. I also do look a little bit sweaty. It is really beautiful in here and actually I'm quite grateful that we're sat outside like the direct sunlight because it is so so warm that because it's like 12, actually it's one now, in the afternoon I feel like the heat is just too strong from the sun. Our mains have just come out. We're actually still eating the bread but it's okay because we got it kind of as like a side rather than as a starter. I went for sweet potato curry. I've never seen the Ivy do sweet potato curry before but it looks amazing. And then I've also got this rice which looks really good. We're still getting through our bottles. And Tom has gone for fish and chips oh. in the toilet. We are just about to leave the Ivy. I've had the most lovely meal, but Tom and I shared a bottle of white wine, which was lush. I love that he now likes wine enough to share a bottle. However, guys, the mistake was that we actually drank most of it before a lot of the food arrived. So now I'm feeling wavy um, after not that much alcohol. The plan now is we're gonna go to Notting Hill. Basically, we're currently in Kensington. We're gonna go to Notting Hill, have a little bit of a walk around, go to some vintage bookshops, go to like the market if the market's on, but I'm not sure if it is, and then go back to Hyde Park to continue to sunbathe a little bit, and then go to Central before we head home, so let's go. Guys, I've somehow lost Tom. Oh, I hate this. Every time I call Tom's mobile, it tells me that the number I've dialed is incorrect, even though it's literally not. My text just will not deliver to him. We are in a little retro Notting Hill bookshop and I feel like I'm literally in the film Notting Hill. This isn't your vibe, is it? Tom's trying to help me pick a book because I feel like I can't leave here without something because it would just be a crime, really, wouldn't it? You're just pointing at random ones being like, how about Pride and Prejudice? Usually I pick the ones with the nice covers. Good. They don't have the book I wanted to buy. I wanted to buy The Colour Purple by Alice Walker, but they don't have it. And if they do... No, it's not. It's a really good book, apparently. I haven't read it, but if I have it, I can't find it because I just can't work out how the books are organised. We have just been vibing for a little bit in Hyde Park. Kind of chilling, trying to work out what we want to do next because it has sort of clouded over. So we're debating going to the South Bank to maybe like just chill, get a drink, or maybe going to Oxford Street. Or we could go to Covent Garden because then it's like a hybrid of the two, isn't it? Let's go Covent Garden. We're going to go to Covent Garden, we just decided. We are leaving. We're heading to Covent Garden now. I'm quite excited. Going to go to the market, going to get a donut time. Gonna maybe go into a little shop. Just have a fab time. And Bye have donuts. a fab time. Why do you sound drunk? I'm not drunk. <laughs> I feel like you maybe are. Sit and get another drink in Covent Garden. Yeah, I'm down. We have arrived in Covent Garden here in St. Thomas. You look like you've caught the sun way more than me, but I don't know if it's just because you're wearing white. It could be. I think you cheated the system and tried to like get ahead by wearing white today so that you looked more tanned. I kind of regret it though because it, I feel like it's just going to get mucky with sun cream. True. And bad True. It should wash fine though. I don't mean to just film me. <laughs> you just gave Tom a camera. I was like, you can just hold the camera for a bit. Where are we going now? What is it you're actually filming right now? We have come to set out a bar in Covent Garden. It is called, what is it called? The Garden by Nana. A bit random. My Nana does have a perks now and again. Yeah, I love that, I love that for her. But basically we're just gonna get drinks and I'm thinking maybe I might want a sangria because we've already had wine. So I'm like, do I just continue on the wine? By the way, this is the perfect place to get your upper Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. Half my body's in the sun so I can correct my terrible sunburn. Tom and I were more sensible today. We've got bottles upon bottles of water. We're filling my chilli bottle up with this one to keep it cool because they just go so hot in their little plastic carriers so quickly. If they bring us some ice from the water. Yeah, we could actually. Yeah, we could put some ice in that. It would be more handy though if we had somewhere we could just refill that instead of buying these because earlier in Hyde Park there was nowhere to fill up the bottle so we just bought them but like that's not practical. All good for the environment. It's funny how easily life can be torn up, but what couldn't I simply see? Guys, the sun has sort of gone in. 
but now on top of the Y, we've had the gin. We have like 20 minutes now just to chill in like Covent Garden. We're gonna get a donut time, I think. I'm very excited about it. I haven't had donut time since like lockdown one when they started doing home delivery. So we're gonna go get that, aren't we? Yeah. Here's Thomas. And then I think we're probably pretty much ready to head back to King's Cross. Our train is at 7.30, it's like 10 to six. So we're gonna get some food, maybe gonna key shop here. Anywhere specific you wanna go? We just have a gander. We're gonna have a gander around Covent Garden and then we are gonna head to donut time. What are you gonna get? Donut. Because I kind of want to try something different because I always get the Biscoff one. But now I'm like, do I actually I... don't know what they do. I, I think it was the last time you brought me one. Back. Yeah. No, no, no. We got them together for your birthday. I actually don't know the flavours, so we'll have a look. I'm very torn between getting what I know that I love because I know that I love it or trying something new because I always get the same thing, but then I don't want to waste my money. If we can get cookies as well as donut time donuts. Yeah, like, we're going to have the donuts We're going to have the donuts now, yeah. The cookies in like a couple of hours. Are a bit spit Do you know how big one donut time donut is though? Just to clarify, a donut time and no, a bend of cookies. Cookie to have today. Just, oh, you know. To be fair, we don't live near a bend. You traitor to Millie's. No, I prefer Millie's. No. Nah. We're now debating what we would get. Orange and milk chocolate, that was Tom's choice. Mine would be mine would be between coconut and probably triple chocolate chunk or double chocolate chunk. I don't know. Donuts. Well, to be honest, it's either or. We either get these or we get the donuts. Donuts. Right, okay then. Tom's picked up this really annoying habit where whenever I say anything that annoys him, he just repeats it back to me like 50 times. But like, For example, this is something gives her the ick. Yeah, I'm like, oh, that gives me the ick. I don't like that. It gives me the ick. And Tom's like going like, that gives me the ick. That gives me the ick. In the hope that she'll hear me say it so many times, she'll stop saying it herself. Yeah, and the most recent one is, oh, that's a bit of me. Oh, that's a bit of me. And Tom's like going, oh, that's a bit of me. And I'm like, okay, I get it. It's annoying. Yeah. But you don't need to repeat it 50 million times. Initially, I wouldn't have to. Using words that you don't mean. I do mean it, I mean it. Every time I say that's a bit yeah. of me, I'm like, oh, that is a is bit it? of me though, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> in Chinatown heading to donut time because the donut time in Covent Garden didn't have any donuts that we wanted did it? No. I didn't know that was a cute car this century. We used to always park in that car park when I was little my dad would drive oh, all the way from Beverly I don't know why because the train is like literally double the speed that it yeah, takes you to get here. And cheaper. Yeah and then we would park in this queue park in Chinatown but you can't really get much more central you than that. Imagine, that's me. No he would agree we haven't ever driven since. You know what these are Tom? Well, no, no, literally, they're Chinese lanterns, but do you know what else they are? They're a bit of me. Okay, I'm hoping they've got more. Okay, they do. They have a bit more. Guys, if you haven't ever been to Donut Time, the next time you're in London, I really do recommend it. We are now heading back to King's Cross. We've got the goods. Tom's carrying them. We're going to eat them in King's Cross. What did you go for? Phil Collins. Phil Collins. <laughs> and I went Phil. for Phil Collins, sorry. And I went for Stranger Rings, which is like Oreo. High five. We need to use hand sun. Oh no, we're sat with our face against the light. What are we gonna do? Eat. Eat our donuts. We have come to sit outside of King's Cross. We're on this little like waiting deck. Actually, this restaurant here is really, really cute. This is St Pancras. You can tell because they've got, you know, the St Pancras looking building and the dome. And then behind me here is the entrance to King's Cross, which is sort of half closed off. But we're gonna have our donut time now. So who did you go for? Who? Oh yeah, Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Phil Collins. As in, I'm guessing the donut is filled with something. I think it's, I think it's chocolate custard. Oh, I don't know. Oh, mine. Oh, That's, I had Stranger that Rings. Was it good? Yeah, it was good. I love it. Also, I feel like you haven't shown them that tattoo. Not. Tom's got this tattoo. He got it with his um, half sleeve when he had this finished. But um, I really like it. It's very cute. It's a Pisces for anybody that wondered. Mm. I'm going to make such a mess in it. Oh, what day. Went to the toilet in King's Cross. We're regularly cleaning surfaces, bottles, and handbrakes. It really gives me the ache. What does? Nah. <laughs> I looked at my sunburn in the mirrors and it looks it? it looks worse. Very, very bad. It looks worse. Here we are, waiting in King's Cross. Is it ever gonna go on the departure board? Nah, there's ages left yet. We're just a bit early. On the train. Tom's on about ordering food to his chair with the QR code.
We're on our second train. Everything has run smoothly. There's been no delays, which is really, really good. I'm now wearing this jacket again, shotgun, but it clashes horrifically with the stripes I've got on. So that's fashion. The reflection on the window looks so arty. Summer. Look at that sunset. Doncaster almost looks tropical. inspired by when I did it with Harry apart from I found out Tom does it wrong as you can see this is a very fun train Guys, I am now back home. I won't lie, it is the next day. I didn't end this vlog last night because I got in at about, I think half 10 and I was just very, very tired. It had been a really long weekend. This little London trip was kind of just an add on to going to Brighton for the weekend because obviously from where we live, we have to pass through London to get to Brighton. So we just thought we'll make a day of it. I'll film it separately. I know I don't usually like vlog random days and upload them, but I just thought it's really not every Monday that Tom and I just go to London. Obviously I go down to London quite a lot, but it's very rare that I go with Tom, especially recently. So I just thought you know this is wholesome this is cozy we've got no real intention we're just chilling we're just vibing and it was just so lovely to be able to have some real quality time together like away from home uh, with no agenda like obviously i was vlogging it and i did film on like saturday evening or sunday evening but i wasn't there specifically for content like there was a lot of things that we just didn't film so it was really really fun and i hope you have enjoyed watching this video as well i know it's very chill by comparison to last week's videos but that was kind of intentional just because last week was so so busy work wise for me editing those videos like so many hours went into those videos that this week i knew the content was going to be a lot more laid back a lot more stripped back but i'm still trying to keep a balance between that like i know a lot of you guys love the chatty videos love the vlogs love the homey kind of content so that is why this vlog is like that but if you have enjoyed it do give it a huge thumbs up i'm very excited for the content coming just over summer generally the summer vibes are just chef's kiss currently still running two giveaways guys they close on saturday these two videos that are on screen here all you guys have to do is comment on them your social media handles be subscribed follow me on instagram and you could be in with the chance of winning an instax mini so if that is something that's interesting to you don't forget to enter you've got two more days and i shall be back on my channel on saturday with a weekly vlog bye guys